Hi everybody, Marilyn here with Cotton and Chocolate and today I'm going to show you my technique of how I use the folded corner clipper and a lot of you that have sewn with me know that I love this ruler because it makes your life easier and you get perfect results. So I want to show you how I use it. So now typically this is what it's used for. In our patterns, a lot of times the corners are known as connector corners. So a folded corner is the exact same thing. So here I have a little setup right here. And typically what you would do is you would take your ruler. So I have a little ruler here. You would draw your line from point to point. You would sew on that line. You would cut it off at a quarter inch and fold this fabric up. Okay, you have all those steps. All right, so what this ruler does is it eliminates all of that. Okay, so you take, I have my a two and a half inch square here for the example, and you have all these markings on your ruler. So you can cut up to a, a five and a half inch square. So here we have a two and a half inch. So what I do is I line up all the way along and I'll just use this as a pointer. So this is cut off here. I line it up on my square, two and a half inches on the bottom and two and a half inch there. So it's lined up nicely for you and I'm gonna cut on the edge. Now once in a while you may not know where to cut and I'll show you that on my second square that I'm gonna do. So you can always do a cheater line because in here I need this corner to be folded this way. So I need to have it on the diagonal, okay? So if I'm not sure what angle to cut, I do suggest you put like just a light cheater line so that I know what angle I'm gonna be cutting at, okay? So I'm gonna put this here because we know that we can only cut once, all right? So I'm gonna cut this line here, okay? And then I'm gonna take it away. And if you see what's happened, it's cut a little insert for my quarter inch. Now, I would do, if I'm doing a lot of these, I would do all the cutting at once. And if you want to, you can put a pin right here to hold this in place. If it's a small piece like this, I wouldn't really need a pin. It's just up to you, what you feel comfortable with. Then I'm gonna walk over to my machine. I have my quarter inch foot on, I have this set up, and then I would just sew my quarter inch. Now, if I have a lot of these to do, I would chain piece it. And I piece all of them at once. Okay, so right now I'm just demoing, so I just have one to show you. And then, snip off the edges. Okay, and then when you have them all ready, you're just going to press this open. Okay, and not iron it, but press it so you don't push it out of whack. And there's your corner, okay? So now, I'm gonna make what would look like a flying geese. So I have to do this other side going the opposite way. I need to have it folded this way. So how do I, where do I put the ruler to make that cut? So again, I'm gonna take and just make a little cheater line to help myself know where to put the ruler. So if I cut this this way, would it be correct? No. So I have to turn it, if I cut, put it this way, would it be correct? No, because the line's going that way. So what I do know is that I have to put the ruler this way because now it's in line with the line that I drew. And if I cut off this end, then yes, it would end up folding this way. So just sometimes when you're beginning with this, just put, your, put a little cheater line to help you. So now I have it all in line, two and a half inches all the way around cut it off. And again, I would do a number of them if that's what I'm doing. And so I have sewn my... this last piece on just like I sewn the first one. Now I'll just press this one open carefully. And again, if you've done a number of them, you'd press them all open. Now I have my last unit on. Very nice and easy. That's why I love this ruler because they always end up perfect. And where can you get your folded corner clipper? At Cotton and Chocolate, of course. So come and get yours here and hopefully you'll love it just as much as I do and you'll use it on many of your quilts. Thanks for watching.